Today we're going to walk you through the process of connecting your vendor sync account to a QuickBooks desktop and then going through and processing the transactions before you pull them into QuickBooks desktop where they'll be auto suggested. So let's get started. We should have a new company file now. And with the new company file, we're going to see we have the proper bank accounts this time. So bank one, two, three, four, bank two, bank two, two, two. Same idea as what we're seeing here. Um, if I come back over to vendor sync now, let's go, I'm going to go to my company. Well, I have to go to company settings, which would give me this here. And I can see my vendor list at that point. So from this vendor list, we can see that we have um, about 61 different vendors and only certain ones actually have the relationship connected between them. Um, so what we'll do is I'm gonna come back in and I'm going to actually import the transactions. Come into here, browse for it, go to downloads and should be this one right here. We'll go open. and upload. Done. Okay, so now we saw that we didn't have too many of the vendors actually um, attributing with accounts, but we are seeing names that make sense to automatically start to populate through this. I'm gonna change my amount here to the large amount. We've got 165 transactions because I want to try to get all of them onto one where we can do the uh, accept all basically. And again, traditionally you'd want to go through, kind of review them for the purpose of a quick video. I'm going to come in and we're going to do accept all suggestions. This will go through. And now through the top here, I'm going to switch this over because I want to see the uncategorized. And it's showing us that we have about 24 of them left. So let's go to categorized transactions. And again, notice we don't have very many of the accounts there, but that's okay. Um, we're going to go export selected transactions. And we're going to get a pop up screen that's going to give us that full listing of the different ones we need to handle. So now this is telling me there's a total of 45 different client or different vendors that need to be um, assigned very quickly. So I'm going to pause this, go through, put those in, and then before I push the sync, I'll bring the video back up. So I've gone in and I've coded most of these accounts except for ones where I didn't actually have a proper chart of account in there. Um, so I'm just going to go through real quickly and on the second page here, like Dex Media, I want to have marketing. So since it's not there, I can quickly add it. Marketing. Type. It's going to be an expense. I must have missed it at the top here. There we go. Um, add account number, whether it's a sub account, so forth, add it in. Now that we have that, we have marketing again. This one we want merchant processing. And I personally think merchant processing is a cost of goods sold. Add account. Go to the next page. Looks like we've got everything there. Next ones, marketing again, merchant processing, go add new account, go postage. And so we're looking pretty good. Okay, so with that in mind, before I do this whole sync, let's go to QuickBooks and let's pull up basically any of these. Let's go to View, Open Window List, 
Um, we'll go to our vendors, vendor center. And we saw like USPS here. We'll edit the vendor to show you no account set at this time. Okay. One more just for the heck of it. Edit. No account set. So now we've got everything set up there. Come back. Let's do our sync vendor updates. So pull up. I always like to add this here at the same time. And again, this process will run once per minute. It's basically going to call from QuickBooks to look for this. So it's just a matter of the two kind of like connecting, saying, oh, hey, you want some information? I want to give you some information. Um, so as you're seeing on it right now, the process is going through, receiving uh, the details, complete the push of accounts. Boom, boom, says thank you. Say close. And looks like a couple of these didn't grab, so let's just try those again real quick. So we'll go marketing, boom, to payments, merchant. And these are all ones I added new accounts to, I'm noticing, for the first time. Sync again. Now it's really important anytime you're running the web connector, you don't want to have any like pop-up windows open so if you were in like the company preferences um, anything of that nature would actually block it from being able to do what it's supposed to do so just kind of a good thing to take note of it's going through pushing in and we get our thank you again done now we get our file that dropped down so in here let's real quickly Edit. Boom. We now have a value there. Okay. Next part we'll do, we'll go to banking. And I've made sure that we have nothing connected at this time. So import web connect file. This is the one we just created. Open. It's going to ask me to choose the account I want. Continue. successfully pulled. So now we've got 141 transactions. So let's open it up and take a look. And immediately we see we've got 121 out of 141 automatically set up. It says changed by rules, but actually there are no rules in here. Now what we would do is for deposit items, we would create one rule that captures all the deposit details. So go boom, deposits, contains the word deposit. And we would rename it to uh, deposits. And we would add a category. Uh, if we don't have it in there, we'd add in. It's a unique way of calling it basically unclassified income. Um, so revenue query, this becomes income, save, save. So that one rule, we now come back, and you're going to see it still says the 121 out of 140. But out of all of these, we have uh, one, two, items left. That's it. So now imagine month after month, you're starting to pull this stuff in. It becomes even faster and faster and faster to be able to process all this information. Thank you for watching our demonstration. We hope this uh, draws a little extra attention to vendor sync and the power it really has, especially during this uh, time of year where it's so full of rebuilds. Um, be sure to check out vendor sync at vendorsync.co. And if you've got any questions, reach out. We're happy to help anytime.